This week we'll be going over 10 tips to help you make enough money to save your daughter Martha in Beholder. Now this isn't that hard to do on the trainee mode or the easy mode, but we're going to do it on the normal harder mode. So let's go ahead and get into it. Now if you don't already know what Beholder is, it's somewhat similar to Papers, Please, where you'll be working for a crazy government and you can either keep working for them or help the resistance to take them down from the inside. The big difference between them though is that in this one you're acting as the manager of an apartment building and are tasked with spying on and reporting the actions and behaviors of your tenants to the government. You of course also have a family and it gets expensive very early on to try and take care of them to keep them alive. The big one of course is saving Martha. Early on you'll have a few quests related to her health and with the help of a doctor you'll find out that her treatment will cost... $20,000? Yeah, that's a lot of money, but it won't be too bad to get if you follow the tips I line out in this video. It's also not the last time you'll have to spend a crazy amount of money to keep her alive, by the way, let alone also keeping Patrick out of trouble. But today we're just going to focus on the early portion with Martha's first part of her treatment since that's where a lot of people will have issues. Taking the tips from this and employing them for the rest of the game will essentially help you pay for anything you need in the future anyway though. So starting out of course we'll quickly go through the beginning tutorial stuff to show that we know how to plant cameras in the apartments and then get our first task to plant a camera in apartment number 2. This is the only camera we'll be planting by the way. Tip number 1 is to never plant cameras but just buy the level 1 cameras and sell them to Nathan for $150 a piece. As you get more rep, you'll be able to make a lot of money this way, and it's honestly one of the main ways that you can hit your 20k for Martha. Now while in here, make sure you search every piece of furniture that's in there and mark down any information you can get. This will lead us to tip 2, profiling. You're going to want to collect every piece of information you can on the tenants before you ever even profile them. This will allow you to snowball your reward from the profiling as you get more and more added onto it the more you turn in at a time. The rewards chart per item on the normal difficulty is here on the screen where 1 gets you 125, 275 for 2, 450 for 3, 650 for 4, 875 for 5, 1125 for 6, 1400 for 7, and 1700 for 8 items on one profile. We'll turn in that ministry task and move on to the next one, which is to report Jacob for something illegal. Of course, he does love making drugs at the table that just happens to be under our camera, so just make sure that you keep an eye on him and click his drug icon to collect evidence. Before we report it though, we're gonna go to tip 3, blackmail. You'll want to blackmail Jacob first before reporting him, that way you can get the extra $1,000 from him before he's gone. You'll just have to send the blackmail letter to him and he'll go place the money in the plant on the first floor entry area. You'll only be able to blackmail people for items once as they tend to ignore it the second time, but you'll always want to blackmail first when possible to squeeze out the extra money from your tenants. Of course, you could even plant illegal objects in tenants' apartments, mark them as evidence, and then blackmail them that way. Even the cleanest of tenants aren't safe when it comes to our blackmailing tactics. If there is an apartment with multiple people like the Renex, then you could even blackmail both of them and get double the blackmailing money. So you'll then have to catch Jacob making drugs again to mark it down as evidence so that you can actually report him in the future. Which tip number 4 is to actually just wait to finish quests until the last 10 hours or so that they're available. This will buy you time to go through and make sure you can make as much money off the tenants as possible before progressing the story further, so you always want to be waiting until the last 10 hours or so before finishing tasks. Now with all that time we'll have, we can of course keep working on the other tips we've gone through, but let's add in tip number 5 for when all of the tenants are in their apartments and you don't necessarily have anything to do, go and take all of the items from the basement to either sell or keep as items to plant in other apartments. Items will even respawn in the basement periodically, so it's always a good idea to check those containers when you have downtime and no more profiling or blackmailing to do at the moment. So then we can move on to tip 6, stealing while you're going through the tenant's things. You may find either some expensive items or items that are illegal, or will be illegal in the future such as soda, blue ties, etc. You can steal these items to either sell or hold on to and plant on other tenants for blackmailing purposes or just to report them. 
But hold on, hold on, before you start stealing everything a tenant owns, you will get caught if you do that. You'll never want to steal more than two items from one of the apartments and wait a while before stealing again to make sure that you don't get caught. Tip number seven has to do with after a tenant is evicted, or after they die, whichever one you may or may not have had a hand at causing. Once they leave unexpectedly, all of their belongings will be left in a box outside of their door. So you never want to allow your tenants to leave by choice if you're already done with what's needed from their story because you can get a lot of items from these boxes which in turn makes you a lot of money. Of course you do have to turn those items into money somehow which is where tip number 8 comes in. Buy and sell from Nathan whenever possible or at least whenever you need to. Anytime he comes by on the left side of the apartments you can offload all of the random items that you don't need for a lot of money. And you could even buy illegal items like apples to plant in apartments for blackmailing and reporting purposes. I like to always keep a few apples on hand as they are pretty cheap and you'll always make a profit from planting them on your tenants. If you made it this far in the video, be sure to let me know down in the comments what you thought about the game, hit the like button, subscribe for more achievement guides, and if you want to support the channel even further, hit the join button to become a member. And then after the Jacob reporting task, you'll have more open up and can start running through all of those. So tip number 9 is that you generally want to do all of the tasks, of course, taking your time to complete them, and you'll generally be able to profit from them, especially if you steal the items that you're going to need from the apartments. And for the last tip, tip number 10, you'll just want to make sure that you're always moving, always doing something. If you need to knock on a door to talk to someone, then do that then run off to go take care of some other things while they're walking up. Every second counts when you're having to grind this much money out early on. Then for some little bonus tips, we have a few quest choice related things that you'll definitely want to be doing. Once you move in Jones, he's going to eventually give you an opportunity to sell some illegal fish. You'll take those and just sell the item to Nathan for 3000 and you never have to talk to Jones again. Easy 3k. Then for Aliosius, Ali, we'll just call him Al. When Al asks you to find him a girlfriend, I'd recommend just going the route of calling the number on the ad you get and have her come out if you do that at all. Going the route with Rosa Renek generally doesn't end well, so it's easier just to not go that way. Also make sure Al is still there to help Martha. You don't want to accidentally blackmail him to the point of leaving or report him for something to get him kicked out. Once you get the $20,000 medicine from him, you don't really need him anymore, so at that point it won't matter as much if you do want to get rid of him. And those are the tips that you need to get all of that money to save Martha in Beholder. And now, why don't you go check out some of my other achievement guides or whatever video of mine YouTube recommends.